And just a note, Logan is a Raiders fan. <laughs> All right, tomorrow will mark one week since the attempted assassination on presidential candidate Donald Trump. Many elected officials continue to say that political violence is never the solution. But online chatter was quick to point out are more campaign talking points part of the problem? Our Kara Jeffers spoke with elected officials and academics about the impact of the extreme political rhetoric. After Saturday's assassination attempt, some Republicans blamed Democrat talking points about Trump for expanding extremism. When President Trump is framed as, you know, Hitler and he's going to end democracy, it's no surprise that that level of violence has happened. And when asked if Democrats should adjust their democracy is at risk motto, Senator Bob Casey countered that it was a legitimate conversation. If we're not debating uh, the issue of voting rights in this country and not debating the impact that, that bad policy on voting rights can have on democracy, then what the hell are we doing? I spoke with a professor of political rhetoric who said both major political parties use extreme or apocalyptic rhetoric, but offer different solutions to the problems they suggest. As long as these Democratic politicians are pairing it with things like, you know, the Republican Party is a threat to democracy and that's why we need to vote. For Republicans? They're often talking about it like something that's happened to the national spirit or the soul. You know, like there's something about our nation that's been broken and the only way to fix it is to install a strong leader. Johnson says extreme rhetoric can lead to positive or negative impacts. Can get people motivated to do things that kind of count as democratic action. But apocalyptic rhetoric can also sometimes, uh, especially when it's being, you know, deployed to a constituency and with a constituency who already has this like very heightened sense of victimhood and injury, it can also right contribute to political extremism. In Harrisburg, Kara Jeffers, Erie News Now. And as campaign season continues, both sides are saying that candidates they should weigh their words wisely. And 